Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. We welcome you today to a new episode of Towards Civilized World. We're going to talk today about Shahid Day. In an atmosphere of pride, the Algerian people celebrate Shahid Day on February the 18th every year. This occasion aims to establish intergenerational bonds and remind the young people uh, of the sacrifices of their ancestors in order to draw lessons and follow their footsteps. Shahid's Day is a day to commemorate the martyrs and to preserve and protect the historical memory. I am here today with uh, Dr. Mimouni. Welcome, Doctor. Thank you. And Dr. Belit, hello. Welcome with us. Thank you. Thank you. Starting our conversation, Dr. Mimouni, <coughs> please. Uh, what is the significance of um, the Shaheed's Day in Algeria specifically? Well, we are speaking of the Shaheed, which has its own connotation. Thank you for the question. You're and uh, there is something which uh, makes a thing, uh, goes into my mind is we are not speaking of the warrior, Al Muharib, who they ask maybe nations are celebrating yes. okay. heroes. Although they are heroes, but we are speaking of the Shaheed. Mm -hmm. What nation can be proud of the people who sacrificed, sacrificed their lives during a period of 132 years since colonization, generation by generation, men, women, and children, uh, 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 children and so forth. Yeah. Then. The last revolution, the final revolution in Algeria, we say that there are one million and five hundred thousand shahids. Okay. Then this is uh, pride for the Algerian. It has to be transmitted, as you said, and it is the first uh, maybe mentioned why it is the this day in uh, February because it's the birth date of. Uh, uh, Shahid, uh, Shahid, one of the leaders of the revolution, Ben Boulaid. And then it is very important yes. that we commemorate this in this, uh, in this place. Yes. Before we mention what is the meaning of Shahid. Yes, of course. Yeah. Thank yeah. you, Doctor. Now, Doctor... Uh, doctor maybe maybe uh, before you ask me the question, yes. I, I want to add something. Of course. Uh, a martyr is is uh, has a, a spiritual dimension. Dimension. Yes, of course. It is uh, somebody who preferred uh, to sacrifice his his life for the others. It is the high one of the highest levels Definitely. a Muslim can reach. We know that. We know that the levels of uh, of uh, spiritual uh, uh, ascension, if you want, in the life of a Muslim are four, uh, prophethood uh, and righteousness, righteousness, as mm -hmm. and as uh, truthfulness, mm -hmm. if yes. I translate yeah, accurately, mm -hmm. right? If it is an accurate uh, translation. Mm -hmm. So uh, we know that prophethood has been ended and closed by the sending of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. But uh, uh, Muslims believe that there are three uh, stages a Muslim can reach. Righteousness and truthfulness and uh, martyr, martyr, dying as a martyr. It is one of the highest stages a Muslim Definitely. can reach in this life. So, so spiritually uh, speaking, if you want, it is uh, something very, uh, I think every Muslim wishes uh, to die as, as a martyr for the sake of Allah, right? For the pleasure of Allah Ta'ala, right? We, we are dreaming to die as martyrs maybe in Palestine one day, inshallah, in Al-Masjid Al-Aqsa. Why not? So that's, that's why dying as shaheed is, is 
is is a, a Muslim's wish in, a Muslim's in this dream. life. Yes. yes. Yeah. Please. Thank you, uh, thank you, doctor, for enlightening us on the the dimension. Yeah. Yes. Now, would you please tell us uh, about the meaning of shahid in Islam through the uh, Quran and the Hadith? Yes. Uh, if if we if we uh, study uh, Al Quran Al Karim, the Holy Quran and the Sunnah, the citations of the Prophet, uh, peace be upon him, we will discover that uh, Shahid uh, 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 is somebody who has sacrificed his life uh, to, uh, to guarantee, if you want, his uh, children and his uh, um, grandchildren to live with freedom. Dynasty. And with dignity, dignity, right? ولا تحسب أن الذين قتلوا في سبيل الله and dying as shahid either for uh, to liberate a country or to liberate people and to to end uh, a dictatorship or oppression, right? Uh, is considered as shahada in, according to Al Quran and the Sunnah for liberating your country, uh, defending your wealth, من قتل دون ماله فهو شهيد. Defending your dignity, your honor, الشرف also. Uh, one who dies in defending his dignity is a shaheed in Islam. And he, he got this, he, this reward from the Almighty Allah. Yeah. ولا تحسبن الذين قتلوا في سبيل الله أمواتا. Do not consider the one who dies in the way of Allah as shaheed uh, as a dead person. بل أحياء عند ربهم يرزقون. We believe that they are in the paradise of Allah. They are living in a very uh, delightful life in the hereafter. بل هم أحياء عند, رب أحياء عند ربهم يرزقون. فرحين بما أتاهم الله من فضله ويستبشرون بالذين لم يلحقوا بهم لا خوف عليهم ولا هم يحزنون right without any fear and any sadness so so that's why if we we ask al Quran uh, what do we mean by shahid anyone who sacrifices his life to guarantee the freedom of his people or his country or to defend his dignity, the dignity of his family or his country, to defend the wealth of his people, properties of his ummah, his nation, is shaheed. Even in the hadith of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he has uh, explained dying as shaheed in, in this same meaning and same uh, uh, wisdom, uh, actually. Yes. Okay. Thank Maybe you. Prof Mimuni wants to add something. If you want to add something. Uh, just I Thank want uh, because uh, we can add something about the etymolo etymology. Yes. Uh, the etymology of the word shahid. Alors, the etymology in the generic sense, it means to be a witness. To be a witness. Shahida, shahid, shahada. Okay? Right? But this is less answer. It has taken progressively the sense of a martyr. And the martyr is the one, as Professor mentioned, yes. dies for his faith, okay. or maybe it is for noble cause to defend a country. In the Quran, it's mentioned yes. that the believers are protecting even churches. On the on even uh, the, uh, on the even uh, houses, houses of worship, of worship, Jewish houses of worship, yes. in the sense of of protecting. We have to say one thing because it's we say martyr. I said I said before, it's a martyr because you are witnessing God through your action because it's a sort of bargain. It is making yani tijara. It's a bargain between the moment. And Allah Ta'ala <coughs> to an, show. If you want an engagement. Uh, yes. Alors, there is another verse. Think, as you said, for example, 
Think not of those who are slain in Allah way as they are dead. Nay, they lie, finding the assistance in the presence of, Lord, of Lord, their Lord. Lord. They, rejoice, they, rejoice, they rejoice in the bounty provided by Allah yes. and with regard to those left behind who have not joined them in their bliss, the martyr's glory in the fact that, uh, that, uh, that, that on them is not fear, nor have they cause to grieve. Yes. Maybe I would uh, add something else. It brings us to the, the term Shahid al-Dunya, this, uh, this concept. Uh, before Shahid al-Dunya, we have to maybe, say maybe something in this. Sorry, if you, if you don't mind. Yes. He, you reminded me of a very yeah. beautiful uh, quotation by Sayyid Qutb. Aywa. Rahimahullah. Rahimahullah. When he, 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 he mentioned in, in, in the shade of the, the Quran, his mm. uh, tafsir, famous tafsir, he said Shahid is the one, is like he, he gave a testimony That's it. Sure. that That's this it. religion is the truth. Yeah. Yes. It is the truth, yes. and I would add something. The first Shahid in Islam, or like even in Algeria in the, during colonization, there were people, tribes, individuals who were persecuted. Yes. Taradun, as you said, mm. about uh, persecution. Uh, sure. They were uh, then the first shahid in Islam. They were not at war. Yes. They were uh, the um, the, the, um, the mother, mother of, of uh, uh, Ammar ibn Yasser yes. and his father was, yes. was tortured. Killed, was tortured, was tortured, then killed. Yes. The first thing. Islam, as Marcel Boisard is saying, is not, has got principles. One of his principles is to fight injustice, because you cannot impose faith like that. Every religion, and it is a verse in the Quran which says that uh, the, uh, the, 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 it has imposed, or the, the making, uh, fighting injustice has For been justice. made in the Quran, in the Bible, in the in the Torah, and in the in the uh, Injil, yes. in the Angel, you see, in the uh, Gospels, in the Gospels, then this is why, then the Islam, the first Ghazawat fighting battles, yes. battles, battles of the Prophet Sallallahu yes. Alaihi were defensive battle, yes, to impose the community to preserve yes. the state of Medina, who was under attacks, multi multiple. Uh, wages or stages in order to destroy the Medina, the community. And uh, at that time, we say that even the, the, the Muslim uh, uh, rules or conduct was to respect, not to not wage war for this, but as a result of injustice. Of injustice. Yes. Then, if you said about uh, uh, dunya, Shahid then there is a hadith. Even uh, yeah? if we, we, I mean, we study uh, objectively the, That's it. the events of history, yeah. when the Muslims were preaching Islam in the world, yeah. what we call actually al futuhat al Islam, yeah. mm -hmm. Uh, wasn't to force the others to embrace Islam That's it, yeah. or to become Muslims or to, in, to impose Islam mm -hmm. on the others. It was to free those people for ed, either from the Byzantine uh, oppression and dictatorship or from the Persian oppression and dictatorship, actually. Tahrir al-insan min dhulm al-Byzantiyin or Min dhulm al force. We, we know the, the two uh, yes. uh, empires at that time. And uh, uh, it's why we see there are all the denomination, Christian denominations are still in Lebanon, yes. in Iraq, in Syria, yeah. uh, yes. in uh, Palestine, in Egypt. Yes. And then, but uh, as your question yeah. about uh, this is. Uh, Martyr or Shaheed also includes Shaheed Dunya. Exactly. What means Shaheed Dunya? Means I would just bring uh, one of the prophets saying, alayhi salatu wasalam, there are seven kinds of martyrs besides those killed in wars defending the cause of Allah. A person who is killed in an epidemic, a person who is drowned, gharq, yeah. a person who has bad sores causing fever and cough resulting in his death, 
a person who dies of stomach disease, amrad, marad, yani yeah. fil batan, al a person who dies in a fire, a woman who dies during Given birth, childbirth, yes. and we can add our brothers who are in the victims of the earthquake. Yes, the earthquake recently. has Turkey, which has Turkey. struck uh, Turkey, Turkey and mm -hmm. Syria. Syria yes. And we, Algeria had uh, made a very good mo uh, move Attitude. towards help yeah. to Syria. And if you help them and you die while helping them, a you shahid. are a shaheed. Yes, you see? certainly. Thank you, doctor, for enlightening us with this information. Now we want to know what, what is the reward of a martyr? Hmm. Uh, a martyr is rewarded in, in this world and in the hereafter. Yes. Allah will uh, protect his family here in this world and uh, he, he will be rewarded by at least having 72 members of his family, uh, their place in the paradise of Allah. Shahid. A shaheed, we know that the first, the first uh, injury he got, uh, he, he is rewarded by the paradise. Mm -hmm. So, so uh, the reward is great, but here I, I want to take this opportunity also. Yeah to send our greetings and, and salutations to our brothers in Syria. Yes. Uh, I mean the Algerian uh, delegation and uh, people who went to help our brothers and sisters there in Turkey and Syria. It is really a, a, a motivating attitude and a positive attitude who should be encouraged by everyone. It's a beautiful picture uh, yes, of yes, solidarity. We are really, uh, proud of, of that yes, and hopefully inshallah the muslim ummah will help we will help each one other another. and assist each other mm -hmm. as the almighty allah has asked us yes. um, and a shahada uh, sometimes you know uh, as sayyid said also he said some people think only how to die fisabilillah but they don't know how to live with somebody, unfortunately, right? Just, yes, uh, I would ask yes, something please. about the paradise. I'll just bring the verse in English yes. straight away. Think not of those who are slain in yeah. Allah's way are dead. Nay, they live finding their sustenance in the... Uh, no, no, sorry, another. Allah had purchased of the believers their persons and their goods. For these in their theirs in return is the garden of paradise yes. for their action. Yes. They fight in his cause and slay on our slain. A promise binding on him in truth through the Torah. I brought the verse yes. through the Torah, the gospel and the Quran. Yes. On who who is more faithful to his covenant than Allah. Yes. You see, yes. then results in the bargain which you have concluded, that is the achievement supreme. Supreme, That's yes. It. Thank you, it doctor. It is a deal between the believer and Allah. And, Allah. Yes. and Allah, yes. Thank you, doctors. And going back to the Algerian Shaheed Day, uh, one day is not enough to, to acknowledge the souls of the martyrs. How else can we honor them, please, doctor? Well, uh, we have uh, probably the books of history yes. uh, that came there. We have uh, the possibility also to transmit their values on their ideal, Raya, uh, wa for what they have sacrificed. Their sacrifice for their life at the, the, the period of colonialism was in order to revive the nation. Now our nation, our Algerian nation, is uh, set up and is uh, good but we can help them to go through, to help them to find their future, to find a shining future, help them to, then you have to be faithful to, get, to engage in education, in industry, and to be faithful to the, to the oath of the shaheed, yes. to the tizam, to the oath of the shaheed. Yes. We Maybe have to be, loyal, loyal, to be loyal, loyal, fidel, faithful to them. With what they have sacrificed their lives for, yeah. uh, 
uh, because it is shameful when we meet them on the day of judgment and the day of resurrection. If we meet the shuhada on the day of judgment, they will ask us, we will tell them we have lost Palestine, we have lost many lands of Islam, we have lent many properties of Islam, uh, sacred places of Islam, mm. we have lost them. I think we will be, it will be shameful for us to meet with the shuhada if we meet them on the Day of Judgment. Uh, when they will ask us, we will tell them we are sorry, but we have lost all the places you have uh, liberated and the places you have got back to the Ummah uh, with our n n n neglect attitude and with our, uh, uh, what to say, I don't know, right? We, we have uh, lost everything you, you, you got for us. I think we have to be yeah. loyal Inshallah, and we have to happy. teach to teach the generations that's it yeah. our gen new generations this sacrifice how their sacrifice is very precious, yes. precious. very precious to that's our it. children and our grandchildren and the coming generations to, to stay loyal with that yeah. to the word shaheed yes. which is witness and to preserve memory, memory. their yes. memory of course. the values uh, the values of Islam and the values of our civilizations, our nation, and our civilization, nation. our nation, our yes. ummah, our yeah. identity, identity, right? That's, that's what the shuhada wanted to, yes. to achieve, actually. Speaking about values and how can we establish this, the same high morals and uh, the sense of responsibility that these marches had to, to this upcoming generation? Doctor, Maybe please. when we have to say that uh, the history, Algerian history, was turmoil history, mm -hmm. and it was uh, there was a lot of persecution. Yes. The the people who made the last uh, the last brand of the generation of the of the revolution, that is the revolution of uh, 1945, they were all young. They were imbued with the values of, of yes. uh, nation and of, uh, with, uh, with religion because they used the, the word shaheed as a, the, in the both in both senses. Then we have to convey educational on the edu ed education in a way that they find themselves in their nations, yeah. but provided the nation elites uh, responsible give them their chance, they understand them, there must be uh, links with them, they all together go, uh, ha uh, have to, to work together to find a solution maybe to their problems. It's not that they do not like history or something like that, maybe they, they yes. are overwhelmed by problems and we have to go to the to the solution of there yes because they are I see the young Algerians sometimes they are very generous and we see this even abroad when we were students yes. Algerians yeah. are very generous they are generous, but in, yes. in addition to that I yeah. think thank you uh, these uh, new generations uh, maybe are fascinated by a wrong meaning of greatness Wrong probably concept, are, yes. yes. Wrong meaning of greatness. Yeah. They think the one is great is the one who sings or the one who plays uh, football. That's the great person, the greatest person they know, maybe. Yeah. We have to teach them the greatness, how great were their ancestors, mm -hmm. their grandfathers, yeah. Yeah. How, how great were their parents, their yes. parents, how great was Didush Murad. Yeah. How great was Amirush? How great was Mustafa bin Bulaid? How great was Al Arbi bin Mahidi? How great was Hasiba bin Bulaid? Yes. How great were those people, those, those, those early leaders, actually? Right? I think we have to correct for them the meaning of greatness. On yes. the sacrifice. Yes. Because it's sacrifice. What right? does it mean to sacrifice for the others? Uh, because maybe uh, these latest generations. Uh, if we ask ourselves, if, if they are going to face the same challenge mm. as our parents and our grandfathers have faced, yes. are they ready really to sacrifice, to make the same sacrifice or not? Yes. Yes, I well, think. Every generation it's very important. Has yes. it, yeah, every yeah. generation has its own characteristics. Uh, well, yes. hope in this upcoming generation 
will be a good one and help build a better and good society. Well, we have arrived to the end of our today's episode. Thank you, Dr. Mimouni. Thank you, Dr. Bilal. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.